so we're going to take a little bit of a walk here. We're at DJ Expo, and this is kind of the main corridor for the educational area. You can see over here on the right, you know, all the seminars and such. It's really kind of cool. They make these huge panels that have all the information on it. Over on the left, you see a bunch of the parties and activities and such. I think this is a 360 camera. You're going to be able to go and pan back and check that all out. The educational seminars typically would have been to my right as we're walking down the hallway, but this year they're going to be a little bit farther down. Uh, straight ahead, hello, straight ahead. That was, that was Tom from DJ Times right there that just went by. Uh, straight ahead though is the boardwalk and that's where we've been doing our live shows. You can see the light at the end of the hall. That's where that is. Then we have the demo rooms right there. We've got uh, Base Boss, PB, Pi Pioneers in there, and QSC right behind those doors making a little bit of noise. We're headed down the hallway. Now we're getting into the seminars. We've got some paid seminars here. This is the Diamond Ballroom A, which will be in on the right. You can kind of scroll around and see that. Diamond Ballroom B. We'll actually kind of give you an idea of what they look like. We're going to pop in there. This is where last night uh, Jeremy Breck and such were setting up in the room. We're just going to kind of walk around the room. We can do that because this is a 360 camera. And you see the freedom stick there. Jeremy was setting up. Again, you're going to have to pan around. You can see the lights and such that Jeremy was setting up. Actually, Jeff Short and Jeremy were both working in here last night. And they've got some different lights. They were de they're were they demonstrating up lights, different up lights and such, and how they could be configured for your show. So we're walking around DJ Expo. This is the 360 view. You can take take a look at. I mean, you can see the ceiling. You can see the you can see the chandeliers. That's what's kind of cool about 360 capability. Hopefully the audio is turning out. If it doesn't, well, this is probably just kind of a boring walk around. And even if you're hearing me, it might still be a boring walk around. So we're continuing on down. More educational seminars are going on on the left as we're going. That's where you get into the adult the adult place up there. Okay, it's a strip club. And we got a little seminar going on there. Chatting here. Check that out. I'll go back out and head on down the hall. There's seminars going on throughout the day. There's different educational things. Uh, multiple things are going on at the same time. So somewhere down here should be Big Daddy. Big Daddy should be doing his his uh, bar mitzvah. So that's what we're kind of looking for. It should be in the grand ballroom here. There we go. We have a door open, so we're going to go and check that out. You can see your folks standing in the hallway, walking up. I'm going to be quiet. So we can... uh, expect the unexpected. So, the dancers to be a big part of this, and I'll, I'll go back to another story. We just recently did a party at the Fountainhead Marble Dance Floor. Somebody spilled the drink. One of the adult guests didn't see it. Slipped, pulled. She's in agony in the corner of the dance floor. I was the first one who actually saw her. Nobody, I mean, I think she was there for a couple minutes, but we even saw her pain on the floor. But yeah, she was on the floor for 40 minutes. The MTs came in. Later I found out she tore her MCL or ACL. It was a pretty bad tear. Okay, so she rightfully so was in pain. But what does this do for a part of it? Guess what? Gear change. So, your dancers have to be ready. What do we do? Do you stop? Do you just stare at her? No. So what did we do first? We, we put a barricade around her with our bodies, and we moved all the kids down to the lounge area, which was across the room. We sat them down, we did different games, trivia, and we had to wait for the to leave. Unfortunately, they killed 40 minutes of the party for the adults. The kids were still there. Well, that was kind of a, a walk around, a 360 walk around of the educational areas here at DJ Expo 2016. We're going to do some more. More 360 video here so you guys can get an idea of it. Woo! Anyway, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.